Yeah. 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 Listen, when I when I first applied it, you like damn I look like a little oompa loompa. <laughs> I look like if I had pumpkin overload, like <sighs> orange cardon. Yeah. yeah. But mm, I look cute. And you see my hair? My hair air dried, so it's like we got Shaka Khan here going on. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been posting even though I said after my little hiatus I'll be posting all regularly. Sorry life kind of got in the way but um, it seems as if um, I was destined to do a video because um, I received this package this week um for those who don't know um i got this through influencer thank you so very much i'm looking forward to reviewing this influencer is a review site where you can go on and review products you've tried and what they do they ask you to fill out a questionnaire fill out a profile you answer some questions based on your interest in certain products and then they send um, products for you to review um, so just like download the app on your smartphone and start reviewing you know and then you know you get like cool items like this to review you know so this is the Pat McGrath um, sublime foundation this has yet to be released I think it releases on her website and Sephora on the 26th of July so I'm feeling you know very stoked that I actually get to try this out before everyone else all right um, it does retail for 68 US dollars so I mean by no stretch of the imagination this is you know pretty hefty in price it's a luxury brand um, anybody who knows about Pat McGrath knows she she demands quaint for her products but honestly speaking in terms of what I've tried thus far from her and I have tried her lipsticks and her eyeshadow palettes they're worth every penny so I'm really looking forward to this so let me just prep my face and get into the review box it came in um, this is what it looks like it says it does come in to the six shades so let me just read Pat McGrath lab skin fetish sublime perfection foundation it is weightless buildable coverage sublime satin finish runway tested mother approved experience perfection in 36 sublime shades for all skin tones and undertones universal formula for all skin types now do you know auntie path is a woman of color and of course me being a woman of color i am so looking forward to this because i'm just hoping fingers crossed that she does cater for us i think 36 shades is a decent um offering i'll put up um what it looks like on her website of course is yet to be released you know so but she is coming out with not just the foundation she's coming out with a sublime primer a setting powder and two brushes one is a powder brush one looks like a foundation buffing brush and this is what the package looks like let me see it looks very luxe again Pat McGrath is a luxury brand you know 68 US um, that the equivalent to that is like 400 and something
one half of my face with a sponge, one half of my face with a brush because I know they are the purists who love use applying their foundation with a brush and then there are those who like it with a sponge. Me, I'm somewhere in between. I It basically depends on <clears throat> what my particular fancy is. So let me just read. I did read it out. Oh, so she's saying that it is a universal formula for all skin types. It's oil free, paraben free and fragrance free. So for those who have sensitive skin and those things are issues for you, you don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to shake it up a bit. Um, I'm noticing on the box it does come with 1.18 fluid ounces so it's a little more than your typical one fluid ounce foundation which is good you know that means you probably get two extra applications or so I don't know but I don't mind oh and it does come with a pump so what I like to do I like to apply the foundation directly to my face as opposed to putting it on a brush or a sponge because I find when you do that, you <clears throat> the tool tends to soak up more of your looks like so it is definitely deeper than um, someone who would be a Mac NC 45 but I'm not mad at it I'm not mad so I will go in with um, my elf camo concealer and I use the shade tan sun to highlight so I guess when I put this
the rest of the day. Trinidad has been has been experiencing a serious heat wave, and today is very nice and sunny. Great for testing out a foundation. So it is now 10:45 in the morning. So your girl is looking to bubble and bounce at this point in time so I will take you along for the ride so you can see how um, this foundation performs I am NOT seeing any claims of it being like long long wearing you know so or to keep you matte but um, I just want to see how it um, wears on my skin type I do have combination oily now I used to be very oily but I've been really stepping up on my skincare routine so I think I'm more of a combination now you know I'm just really oily in my t-zone so I'm expecting to see the most amount of oils popping up there but yes yeah, so let's just do the wear test and see how this um, auntie pat holds up in Caribbean heat, shall we? Alright, so we are in Port of Spain right now. We actually have having lunch on the go. As you can see, we're picking out. But I've been like in and out. The hot sun has been really hot today and makeup looks really good. Like. I mean lipstick is gone it's a given you know but you know I could always just reapply a lip gloss or something you know but yeah just picking out here waiting for somebody to come so we eat in the meantime we multitasking we waiting and eating Chinese food is life mm. Roti is life. We should do mukbangs. No friends up? Eh. Car mukbang. Tama sabi ka. Yeah. People will have words for me if that. If I go down, sit down and eat. Like yeah, no sit down. Yeah, no put the car somewhere to eat. Will you go down and right here? We are mukbanging right here in the gas station. Yeah, we are at the gas station. Mm. Good. And the face again, darker than the rest of my body. Is it? Alrighty, so this is what it's looking like right now. Let us try it. Yeah, it's not looking No, it's not supposed to look cakey. It's looking smooth. Oh, it could be the lighting, but it's looking normal. It's like, looking normal. Okay. But like kind of okay. Dark way. In here? Yeah, in here. I'm like, I'm sure yeah. I guess so. But it does still look very skin like and okay. it is after three in the afternoon. Um we just left West Small there and we are heading home. You know, but it does I find it looking darker than my the rest of my body. Let me know in the comments below. Okay guys, so huh, we a little shiny. Um, but granted I did not do any touch-ups whatsoever. I was just too busy today. Um running around paying bills, um getting groceries and whatnot. Um it is um I don't know if you can see it there, it is ten minutes to four. Um I would have had this for five to six hours, no touch-ups whatsoever. Today was extremely hot. I was like in and out, in and out. It was very, very hot today. But I don't know, like from some of the angles, um, especially in the car, it seemed as if the foundation on my face was darker than the rest of my body. But as you can see here now, everything seems to be perfect um i still will however um go and purchase um another foundation probably someone 
somewhat closer to my skin tone I think either 22 or 23 I think it might be 22 though but this year 24 is just a little too deep um, of course yeah I did finesse it you know but um, as you can see I mean I do have some shine I mean in my t-zone but I mean it's not bad like the finish is very satin it's very skin like um, it still looks very good a lot of people complimented me on my makeup when I was out to the um, when I went to Pennywise when I was in the mall out on the road you know people were like Ooh, you look nice you know and foundation really held up pretty well so um, would I recommend this um, yes and no yes because um, if you're looking for a satin finish um, that holds up um, pretty well in Caribbean heat this is something you can look at no because this is 68 US dollars surely you could find something cheaper but I do appreciate that influencer sent me this to try and test out you know um, yeah I I mean I love Pat McGrath so I I will always buy from her I you get quality stuff when you purchase from her brand I have purchased things and I have not been I've yet to be disappointed by any of the things um, she carries I mean so much so someone in Pennywise was like what eyeshadows are that they look so phenomenal I was like girl if I tell you how much they cost you might want to slap me you know but yeah I I do like it um, I think I will just probably get um, another shade down because this one was just a little too deep a little too warm on my skin so, so what I'm gonna do now is send you back to my earlier self where the makeup was fresher to conclude and close off this video so basically that is it for this review tell me are you going to get this foundation it's a pretty hefty price 68 US dollars is quite a bit of coin but yeah I know there are a lot of Pat McGrath stands out there I am one included are you gonna get it um, tell me in the comments below um, let me know what other um, products you want me to review I will you know try and step up on it I have been quite delinquent and I do apologize for that um, if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up comment in the comment section below and subscribe and until next time bye guys